All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rakhah Kadash. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, so I taste so I can put this word of true surgeon with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly father, whom the world and he calls God and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, with the word and he calls Jesus and Rakhah Kadash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, other Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled birds that scattered Israelite foreigners, scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are Israelites, no matter what outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, we're the brothers from Great Millstone Branch out in Chicago. Uh, brother Smite. Brother Tazawar. And I'm the brother Yadayev. And uh, Lord Will, we're just going to jump into this, this lesson. It's going to be entitled, What is Your Faith In? Because hey, hey, two-thirds of our people... They don't have faith in the Lord, but they have faith in, in the things that they see. They have faith in a Babylon. They have faith in this system, the way this life is set up for you. Be a perpetual slave. Work day to day. Yep. Get crumbs from the self-proclaimed white man, the devil of the Bible. You know, yeah, get oppressed by your woman. You know, live a, a, a hamster a hamster lifestyle, man. You see? But hey, man, we have faith in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and what's written, with, and what's written within these scriptures, man. This is 2nd Edges chapter 7 and verse 42. He answered me and said, this present life is not the end with much glory death abide. <coughs> and this ain't the end all be all, man. Hey, 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 it's more than life than just working and serving the sober clean white man, being a, a slave to him. You know, not having your own land, having to pay taxes or uh, having to pay taxes, man. Period. You know, it says, um, therefore, have they prayed for the weak? But the day of doom shall be the end of this time. And the day of doom, the day of doom goes back to uh, judgment. The day of decree, the day of sentence. It says, uh, the, but the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come where corruption is past. So, hey, when the Lord comes and destroys this place, that's when true life is going to start, man. That's right. That's when we're actually going to live and enjoy, you know, uh, be able to live, man. Because all we know is, is, is being slaves, man, working. Yeah, it says Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed it. Yep. You know, so that's when true life is going to start, man. True peace and paradise. Mm -hmm. You will never get that on this side. No mm -hmm. matter how much money you get, no matter how much fame you get, it don't matter, man. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the day, we want to put on our whole nation. We don't want just one nigga at the top mm -hmm. ruling with the heathen. Mm -hmm. No, man, we want the heathen under us and us ruling at the top, man. Mm -hmm. Still a nigga, too. Yep. It says, um, Salaki, where in corruption is past, going back to that second address, uh, this verse 44 says, intemperance is at an end, and that's a lack of, uh, of self re of restraint. You know, we're not going to have to uh, fight with our flesh. You know, hey, the Lord's going to program us to be perfect, to yeah. serve him perfectly, to, 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 a, a, to keep every single law, statute, commandment, which is just going to lead to more life. You know, true love, equity. It says, um, it says intemperance is at an end and fidelity is cut off, which is a uh, disbelief in the most high. That's going to be cut off. The Lord said his, the knowledge of him is going to uh, be in yep. all the earth. That's right. Roughly paraphrasing. It says righteousness is growing. and ain't going to be no alphabets walking around. You know, ain't going to be no transformers, man. You know, mm -hmm. hey, you ain't going to have uh, out of order and, and marriages and families. And it says every knee shall bow. Mm -hmm. every, knee, every knee is going to bow to the wheel of Yahweh Shemal Shai. These law, statutes, and commandments, man. Everyone is gonna follow it. It's gonna be stand the standard of, of life, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, as Esau, Edom's laws are, are the standard in in this world, all right? In this land, Babylon. Hey, the the standard of of, of Yahweh Shemal Shai is gonna flourish throughout the earth. Mm -hmm. It talks about how the inhabitants are gonna learn righteousness. Oh, it's gonna grab right. Okay. What's Isaiah? Twenty six. Yep. Okay. Twenty six. And they gonna love it too. <laughs> right. Everyone gonna have fun. Everybody yeah. gonna like, damn, this is what we fought against, like. Yeah. The, these, hey, these hey, are the guys. Hey, man, a man can be a man, mm -hmm. you know? <clears throat> he going to be the head of his household fighting me, man. Right. He ain't going to have to ask his wife to make a decision, man. Ain't going to be no blue pill no more. That's right. <laughs> this Isaiah 26 and verse 8, it says, Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Yahweh, have we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name and to the remembrance of thee. Mm -hmm. Verse 9, will my soul have I desired thee in the night? Yea, will my spirit within me will I seek thee early? For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Yeah. So when Yahweh Shai comes back with that government that we read about in, in the book of Isaiah, uh, hey, he's, hey, hey, with the with the government, Salaki, with the with the rest of the men of the Lord, the hundred forty four thousand, a hey, hey, King David, the rest of the apostles, man, hey, 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 the Lord is gonna uh, we're gonna rule, you know, we're gonna uh, 
It's like it. We're going to uh, put the law out, you right, know, right. and everyone is going to take heed, man, and they're going to love it. Yep, they say they, uh, they're going to rejoice. Mm -hmm. The right side authority, the people rejoice. Mm -hmm. These people don't even know they need this, that the Lord knows best. Yep. And the Lord mm -hmm. says so. Yep, and they when a the wicked rule, the people mm -hmm. mourn. So, hey, Esau even is ruling right now, which is the wicked, according to Malachi mm -hmm. 1 and 4. Mm -hmm. You know, and the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So, this whole earth is mourning right now. Mm -hmm. Right. right. No one is happier. Mm -hmm. No one is truly happy. Mm -hmm. You are fucking depressing and want to kill themselves, man. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the most popular music out here is depressed music. Mm -hmm. music Sad about, music. Yeah. Heartbreak. Heartbreak mm -hmm. music. You know, music with you just walking around with your head down. You just want to get hit by a damn bus. It's cool to be sad, be a loner. Yeah. You know? That, hey, that's morning. Yeah. I got one. This Proverbs 11 and 10. It says, when it go of well with the righteous, the city rejoiceth. Damn. And when the wicked perish, there is shouting. So, so hey, yeah. man, as it says yeah. in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, the welfare of the world is in a multitude of the wise, man. You see? Hey, it says in the book of Isaiah, when, after the king of Babylon falls, hey, you eat a mice, man. It says the trees are going to rejoice, man. Right. You know? Uh, I got a song for you. You got it. This is um, Hebrews 4 and verse 1. It says, let us therefore fear. All right? So, hey, knowing all these things, hey, let us fear you. How about Shema All right? Hey, man, having that full faith in the Lord, man. Not waver because that fear and that, that faith go hand in hand. All right, Hebrews 11 chapter and the seventh verse shows you that. Mm -hmm. All right, Noah moved with fear because mm -hmm. he had faith in Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, knowing that the Lord was going to uh, flood this world. All right, and they, that, that Lord is going to flood this place again by way of ICBM nuclear missile fire, a lake of fire mm -hmm. is going to be upon the, upon this land, man. And they all the wicked are are, are going to be, you know, thrown into this place, mm -hmm. all right, to be tormented for not serving the Lord. And they a lot, uh, and there's going to be a lot of our people are going to be there. It says, a promise being left of us of entering into his rest. Any of you should, should seem to come short of it. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith and them that heard it. So, hey, it was a prophet us because we believe in Yahweh Shem Al Shah. All right. And we had that faith in us. We have that gift from the Lord, man, bestowed upon us. And these people can't comprehend that. These people can't get it. All right? That's why and their, their, their faith is in, in, is in other things. Mm -hmm. Like Cesare Borgia. They can't get that our Lord was a so-called black man. Mm -hmm. They want to believe so hard on JC, all right, which is an idol. You know, mm -hmm. a, uh, nothing but a fucking idol, man. All right? Mm -hmm. We believe in the true living power, Yahweh Shem Al Shai. And he is a so-called black man. Whether you people believe it or not, man. You know, and hey, these things I, I, I have been have been mixed with, with, within our spirits. Mm -hmm. um, let me grab this. Sirach 27. Hey, if I may. Yes. Hey, motherfuckers, <laughs> motherfuckers you would say, I believe in a boogeyman. A nigga look at you like you got three ears. Yep. But nigga believe in an idol. Nigga mm -hmm. believe in JC. Nigga believe in, in a, 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 a stone. What the fuck is that stone? Mm -hmm. The Mecca or some shit? Yeah, yeah. Mecca. Nigga, bow down to a fucking stone, man. Uh -huh. Hey, these niggas, hey, you better all bow down to SpongeBob, man. Uh -huh. You people are literally, you have faith in the uh, that which is not profitable. Uh -huh. yeah, that's right. Cause, hey, these things can do nothing. You know, they have no life. They have nothing. They can do nothing. Mm -hmm. All right, you gotta live. You gotta believe in the true living power. Y'all, by mm -hmm. Shai, do it all things. Mm -hmm. right, and all things obey His will, as it says in Sirach the 18th chapter. Mm -hmm. But um, this is Sirach 27 and 9. Says the birds will resort unto their light, mm -hmm. so will truth return unto them that practice in her. Mm -hmm. So as birds return to their light, man, birds hang with with with, with the same birds, man. What does say? Um, mm -hmm. birds of a flock together. Like, mm -hmm. go, say it again. Birds like of bird. a feather. Yeah, yeah. Flock together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So birds of a feather flock together. So hey, man, hey, truth is gonna return back onto those that. That once had it in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, it's gonna come right back onto us, man. Mm -hmm. and, and the spirits of the, of the prophets are subject Filthy to the prophets. Mm -hmm. Let he uh, yeah. uh, that is that is filthy still, let him be filthy still. Mm -hmm. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. You know, it's reincarnation, man. We're always gonna come back to the truth. But hey, these people they can't understand it, man. Mm -hmm. Their faith is gonna always be in something else because the Lord don't want them. Mm -hmm. uh, I got one to back you up. This is Lamentations chapter four. And verse 17, it says, as for us, 
our, it says, as for us, our eyes is yet filled for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not <laughs> save us. And the scriptures talk about how people trust in oppression and yep. perverseness and stay there wrong. How people have uh, that trust and faith in Esau, Edom. They have that trust and faith in the heathen, man, and uh, uh, false idols. They trust and faith in their self mm-hmm. and their guns and this and that. Everything but what is going to save them. Our Lord, mm-hmm. they need to... <laughs> Hey, and then ultimately the righteous have that trust in them. The righteous have that faith, and that's the uh, the the other side of the spectrum, so to speak. Where the righteous are trusting the Lord, and the righteous are going to be saved. The wicked are trusting in everything else which is not profitable, and they're going to get destroyed. Yeah. They have faith in that which is wicked, man. Have faith in something that's vain. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got one. Second Exodus one and. 36. Second Exodus 1 36, it says, They have seen no prophets, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance mm-hmm. and acknowledge them. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, mm-hmm. yet in spirit they believe the thing that I say. And the Lord said, Blessed are they that have not seen me and yet believe. Mm-hmm. Right? And we have true trust and early faith in our Lord. Mm-hmm. Right? And that's a beautiful thing. That's a gift from the Most High God. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and right. my brother had read that Hebrews the fourth child. These people, when they wasn't, it wasn't mingled in faith. Man. Mm-hmm. They see what's uh, here and what's now. All they see them, the horses, the, the, the uh, mighty army that Esau has, they mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, man, ain't nobody, who can make war with the bees, man? Mm-hmm. Like, man? But little they know, the Lord is going to utterly annihilate uh, in one hour. Man. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it, say, it says our Lord is, is going to come swift. Right? It says that uh, the chariots of the chariots of Lord Isaiah 66 and verse 15. Mm-hmm. Right? It says it's going to come swift, man. Mm-hmm. Right? It's just like, uh, like a whirlwind. You know, a tornado comes, man, it ain't just sticking around, you know, they playing around. Now it's coming through to destroy mm-hmm. real quick, man. Because real quick fucks up everything. 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 Destroy entire buildings, man. The whole land is totally destroyed. And then it's gone. That's how our Lord's chair is going to come. All right, he's going to come with that, that swift destruction. The Lord's going to make quick work of Esau eating in his arms, man. Mm-hmm. It says that what? The Lord, the Lord perceived, uh, Ezra's perceived nothing but, but, but dust and smell of smoke. Mm-hmm. Hey, Isaiah, the 34th chapter. And the Lord said that, that he has utterly slain the armies of, of, of you know, these nations. You know, by, hey, no, one, no one can make war with the Lord, man. Mm-hmm. Facts. But um, this is, I got a precept real quick. Mm-hmm. 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So mm-hmm. we don't walk by, by, by the things that we see out here in this world, man. We walk by way of, of the faith that we have in Yahweh Shema Shai. These things that these people trust in is going to be their confusion mm-hmm. and their shame. All right? Because they're trusting in Egypt. It's going to lead them to, to nothing but death and destruction. You know? Mm-hmm. This is uh, just a practical brother of this. 2 Corinthians 4 and 18, it says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And everything that you see here, hey, hey, it says in uh, 2 Peter, is, this is all going to be dust, man. The day that's so coming that's going to burn as an oven. Hey, the Lord is going to destroy this place, man. Damn. Hey, hey, the dress is going to be destroyed, man. The car going to be destroyed. The concrete going to be destroyed. The Everything. The live in is going to be destroyed. Yeah, exactly. Everything in the city. Mm-hmm. Damn. This place has a... Your favorite bar. Yep. This place has an inevitable judgment, an unavoidable judgment coming to this place. Mm-hmm. You know? So we're not putting our faith here. We're not looking for this place to continue. No, we're going to trust in what's written within these scriptures, man. Sorry. No. Uh... This Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 1, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the everything, the evidence of things not seen. And we believe in the Heavenly Father, man. You know, as the brother uh, mentioned and that brought out in that second address 1, it said they have not seen me, but they believe, roughly paraphrasing, hey, that's the men of the Lord. We may not see the Heavenly Father per se, but hey, we do see him through hey, his creation, you know, hey, having faith in him, hey, in, in the scriptures, man. You know? That's right. Hey, you can jump to the uh, verse 25. This Hebrews chapter 1, sorry, it's like it. Hebrews 11 and 25. And it reads, it says, uh, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm in verse 24. I'm sorry, verse 23. It says, by faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they not afraid of the king's commandment. Uh, it says, verse 24, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. 
choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Mm, hey, what you say? Choosing rather to suffer uh, the afflictions, man, mm -hmm. than to have sin for a season. These people, what? They're trusting the Esau, Edom. Mm -hmm. Hey, they're ultimately going to get that MOTB. Yep. Hey, they have got the, uh, the venom. Yeah, hey, everyone's cool. Oh, I can go to baseball game. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't. I can get this job. You right. can't get this job. <laughs> what the bam? Not what they smoke. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, they're gonna get that MOTB. Oh, I got this. You, you hungry? You like uh, you always bring out the magic con shell. Mm -hmm. What did it say? What did it tell us about impact to do? Nothing. Nothing. And tell them to do nothing. They, what they do? Trust in it. Believed in it. Scribble was doing all type of shit. Working hard as hell. Wearing his stuff. Eating bullshit. Eating. But what? They got that feast. Mm -hmm. And that's what's right. coming to the men that's of the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. They trust in the Lord truly. Mm -hmm. And they're going to get that uh, reward. Mm -hmm. It says, verse uh, 26, Esteem of the reproach of Amashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Damn. He, he had that foresight. He seen it up far off, man. So he said, you know what? Hey, to hell with, to hell with Egypt. And we're here in Egypt today. Yeah. Hey, this place is called Sodom and Egypt. He had way more than any of us, man. He casted all that off, man. And this is our ancient patriarch. The things are written four times are written for our learning and our understanding, you know? So, hey, Moses didn't. He had more than all of us, man. How much more us uh, in 2022 in a world that's hasting fast to pass away? Right. You know? Uh, verse 27, by faith he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Damn. You see? It says he forsook Egypt, man. Damn. Trusting in the Lord. Saw him who was invisible. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's that great faith. You, you, uh -huh. hey, we actually truly see these things happening. Yeah. They're uh -huh. not physically here. Hey, we don't. Hey, we haven't physically seen Luke's hit this place. Physically seen mm -hmm. the martial law and this and the third. But we see it. It's, it's, it's very mm -hmm. evident that it's gonna happen, man. It's inevitable. That's right. Mm -hmm. hey, it's like Thanos said, man. You know, I am inevitable. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's how. That's the Lord. The Lord said these words are faithful and true. That's right. Mm -hmm. His will is gonna stand above all things, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, it says that man's going of the Lord. Mm -hmm. How then can a man understand his own way? The Lord is going to cause man to destroy himself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself? The Lord is so cold with a dis. Yeah. Why, Why are you hitting yourself? God, and this Isaiah 31 and verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And hey, that woe is destruction, man. Hey, we're in present. Hey, we're in Egypt today, man. It says, and stay on horses and trust in chairs because there are many. Our people trust in this place because of the nice cars or the armies and all these alluring things. It says, and trust in chairs because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. And that's our people, man. They trust in what they see. They trust in Babylon the Great. They trust in America. They trust in Esau, Edom, the sober claimed white man. But they look not unto their power. Wow. It says, verse 2, yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity so the lord's gonna cut off all evildoers man it says verse three now the egyptians are men and not the most high and their horses flesh and not spirit when yahweh shall stretch out his hand both he that help him shall fall and he that is hoping shall fall down and they shall all fail together That's right. so this place is doomed is condemned you see I got anything else? Wow. Con. I hit the next one, actually. It says, um, verse 4, For thus have Yahweh spoken unto me, like as the lion and the young lion roaring on his prey, when a multitude of shepherds is called forth against him, he will not be afraid of their voice, nor abase himself for the noise of them. So shall Yahweh of hosts come down and fight for Mount Zion and for the heal thereof. And the Lord is going to defend us, man. Lion and Judah. Con, it says, uh, verse 5, as birds flying, yeah. so will Yahweh of hosts defend Jerusalem, defending Jerusalem. So like it says, defending also, he will deliver it and passing over, he will preserve. And he's going to send his chariots, man, and gather his elect, man. And in the book of Deuteronomy, the Lord said he will fetch us from every part of heaven, man. Verse 6, it says, turn ye unto him. It's so like it says, turn ye unto him from whom the children of Israel have deeply revolted. So come back to your power. Sure. You see? So wait, Lord Willem, this is just a quick and elephant lesson. Call Halayim La. Yahweh Ba'ashem. Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem. Rechah Kodash. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. So I taste to all I can put to every true sacred maturity. Shalom, Barakatham, Wa'ababa Ba'ababa 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 Ba'ababa